I'm back on the plot. Um, beautiful sunshine today. Apparently, it's going to go grey later on. It's going to start raining, like, but I'll, I'll believe that when I see it. Spe especially here, because um, uh, every time they say you're going to get, you know, the weather, it just bypasses us here. So, just take it as it comes. Anyway, so, yeah, I've got a few uh, things to do on the plot. I think I'll pick a project and uh, focus on that until I'm successful. You know, so um, yeah, I've got loads of crocuses, daffodils, garlic, onions, uh, and uh, I've got weeds to pull, etc., etc. Um, yeah, let's see what we get done today. What are you doing, Max? What are you doing? You good girl? You good boy? Yeah? What are you doing? Yeah? You nice and warm? Are you looking for the mouse? Where's that mouse gone? Where's the mouse? Go look for the mouse. <laughs> as long as they're warm and they're happy and fed, that's the main thing. Just wait till I get them home. They, they, uh, they normally um, fall asleep or, as I call it, crash. They crash for, for a couple of hours so all this fresh air does them a load of good. Yeah, out and about in the garden. So I've done a bit of uh, bed clearing today. Got rid of the, all the beans that didn't work out. All the way along, parsnips where the parsnips were, where the butternut squash were, uh, took out the and the giant pumpkin plant as well. Done a lot of clearing up today, cutting things down, tidying the way. Also getting lots of tags as well, tags and wires, you know, things that you use for supporting and stuff. Getting it all together, yeah, so you can disinfect it uh, for next year. Um, I've got my uh, uh, dwarf cosmos here and we've still got some takers definitely it's been a good day anyway but the sun's going in and of course as soon as the sun goes in everyone starts disappearing off the plot <laughs> you know but, uh, I hope that bee comes a bit closer there we are hey, where is he down there there you are. Latter end of October. And the bees are still hard at it. <laughs> Very nice. What I've also done in this garden is actually take the trellis that I had along here. I've taken that up now and tidied all the uh, all the dead tomatoes and took the plant, plants away. And now it actually gives me a little bit more access to the uh, Brussels sprout. So let's have a look. If I can have a look, see. Didn't have much last year. <laughs> Hold on. I can get in. Just back of you a minute. Wait. There we are. Not so bad. I can't see any white fly. I've had one yet. It was really bad. And look at these. They're not big, but I've still got something to take up. So I think in a few days' time, I'm going to start bringing a few in. So it's not like last time, where they were looking quite good. Uh, and then uh, all of a sudden, they, they sort of disappeared. They shriveled up or whatever. So this year, I'm going to harvest them early. And we've got Ali. I'll just show you something. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Hey, Ali. That's a nice uh, brussel top, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be a nice, a nice little meal. That has got a few here. There yeah. yeah. This one's for Tracy. Tracy's allotment. They are Tracy, a Romanesco. Yeah, you would expect them to be a little bit bigger than that, wouldn't you? A little bit more shorter and a little bit more bigger in whatever I like but oh well uh, I don't think I'll be doing these ones next year <laughs> that'll be it for today I've done a lot of clearing I'm quite happy with what I've achieved you know what it's like once you get going you keep on going and going and going yeah so uh, anyways the, the sun has now disappeared it's all grey now as um, soon as the sun went, naturally, uh, the uh, few allotment tiers decided that's it, we're going to pack in now, right? But um, 
No, it, it's still it's still all right. It's not rain. It's due to rain later on anyway. So, but it's it's not really that cold. The dogs decided they didn't want their jumpers on, so I took their jumpers off for them. That's fine by me anyway. So they're busy scouting around looking for a, a mouse or anything like that. Um, yeah, I got as I say, got rid of a lot of um. Uh, well, weeds and uh, cleared old debris up and things like that. Get things in the compost bin, get things tidied up. M working methodically from one bed to the next. So uh, you know, so clearing as I'm going along, uh, picking up tags and um, plastic rods and things like anything. You know, to t tidy up, get all your tags together, get all your wires together, get it all in one place. You know, just to say, moving along the garden, um, clearing up as you go, putting it in the compost heap. Um, yeah, and just, just seeing where you are, really, you know. Um, we've got, I've, <laughs> I've got habanero, habanero pepper, or two actually. Uh, not that I would ever, ever eat them like, but um, yeah. And um, I've got some, some tomatoes here as well. That need to be cleared so I'm doing working methodically in, in garden 69 um, and then I say working working my way this way uh, so yeah it, it has to be done um, but I've I can see a load of Swedes I've got and a few cabbages to bring out some carrots some carrots to bring out um, but it's getting less and less anyway so I found um, a wonky a wonky parsnip that it's a bit, it's a little bit on the iffy side, but the rest of it actually is quite firm. So if I get a couple of slices off that, or a couple of cubes off that, you know, that's that's fine, you know. And uh, join the rest of them in the uh, in the freezer, you know. So yeah, I've got a fantastic book um, today. Uh, it's called Ball. I'll put the name, name up on on the screen. It's good for, um, well, not homesteading like, but so well, it is for homesteading. It tells you how to preserve things, you know, it's growing things, and instead of putting everything in your um, in your freezer or your multiple freezers, you know, you, you can't keep on buying freezers, and you, you know, and if you're producing a lot of stuff, um, then you know, and you're not eating them. That's my dog kicking the. Uh, the dog buggy <laughs> and, and uh, as I say you've got to put it somewhere so you know putting it in jars and preserving it you know so you've got the lit stage you've got meals ready to go just grab it off the shelf whack it on some pasta or something like that you know or you feel like um, I don't know some dried fruit for instance you know dried apple um, you can make uh, powders up you know like uh, mushroom cream of mushroom powder you know, so you don't have to don't have to go to the shops to buy. Anyway, so anyway, I'm going off on a on tangent. <laughs> anyway, so there's still, there's still a lot of things flower around the garden. It's very nice to see that we've still got bees out and about. You know, so it's not not bad for the uh, latter end of October. I think 27th. It's actually the the um, the day after the clocks went back. So the way to remember the, the the clocks going forward or back is like um, in in spring, you put your garden furniture out or forward. You know, put put your garden furniture out in the garden. So you you put them forward, your clocks forward. Uh, and of course, in the autumn, you bring your garden furniture back in. So that's why your clocks go back. That's the one way of remembering it. That's the way I remember it anyway. Look, anyway, I'm going to get myself away. I've um, Gonna have a cup of tea. The dogs give the dogs uh, telling me it's the time we went home. Anyway, so we've done enough for today. Uh, nice to have you along. Got a few works of subscribers. Woohoo! And uh, very shortly I'll be doing an extra video uh, of uh, Pete for for Pete Trenhouse for the giant onion challenge 24-25. So watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know anyway. Anyway folks, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.